The last step in this task of assignment of absolute configurations RNS is to view the molecule so that the lowest priority group is actually at the back or at the rear. Remember, carbon has four groups. It's bonded to four different groups. We now know how to um, assign priorities based on atomic number. We look at the first point of attachment. We look at the, at the atomic numbers and, of course, groups with the higher atomic number at the first point or the first atom should be given higher priority. So we, ass we assign them in the order 4, 3, 2, 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4. The lowest priority group, which is number 4, should be, if you like, place at the back, or the molecule, if you like, should be viewed so that the lowest priority group is at the rear or at the back. So that's step number number five, is to view the structure so that lowest priority group is at the back, if you like, or at the at the rear. It's like away from the away from the viewer, something like that. Now, and this this may not be straightforward. Sometimes this is an easy task. Sometimes it's not straightforward. So we have to exercise um, care or or vigilance. And remember the way uh, tetrahedral um, uh, structures are drawn. There is always two bonds which are on the plane and two bonds which are outside the plane and of course as shown by this model if you assume that the blue bond is on the plane the green bond is on the plane this is of course has to be outside the plane with respect to you um, as a viewer it's actually towards you as a viewer this is outside the plane but it's at the rear or at the back if you like or it's away from you as a viewer so this is like the plane of the um, of this model so the blue and the green bones fall on the plane whereas the red and the yellow are outside the plane this is outside the plane to the front with respect to you as a viewer and the yellow one is outside the plane at the rear or at the back with respect to you as a viewer so that's why this bone is shown as heavy wedge line and that's also why this bone for example is shown as a dash line or a dotted a dotted line so now the lowest priority group can be anywhere. It can be on a solid line, if you like, or the lowest priority group can be represented to be on the plane, like this one or that one, or outside the plane. And of course, if it's outside the plane, is it outside the plane to the front or at the back? So there are um, different ways, if you like, or different representations, okay, or different um, views, if you like, um, which has which can have the lowest priority group basically anywhere so they are they, the way they are treated is not actually fixed they are not actually the same we will take all of these cases we'll take for example a case where the lowest priority group is on this line here or though it's up pointed above on the plane up for example and another example where the lowest priority group is on the plane but to the right or to the left if you um if you draw the um uh, uh, the uh, mirror image of this, something like, like that, of course. Yeah, okay, so something like this. So the lowest priority group or group number four can be here, here, there or there, and of course, there, there, and here, and here. So the way, again, they are treated is different. In other words, if group number four is here, where do we look at? Well, we need to look at, at the structure so that that group is away from us, so it's clear we need to look at it from the opposite side. We will take each of these cases, each of these cases separately um, coming up.